Idiot. Mitten the kitten, the star of the show. Mitten the kitten, the star of the show. I was editing a music. Um. Musical all day, so now I'm just in the musical mood. Mitten, 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 mitten. So how you doing, Mitten? What's new? Ben, here's some trash to play with. So you always seem to want it. No play, only pets. You're right. See, you expecting some You understand cats so well. Mitten, we already had like so much pet time today though. <laughs> That's just the funny thing. Does it really come with that many new figures? So this is the Luke's Land Speeder set, but I don't Um I don't remember there being that this many minifigures. And also I don't totally care for this minifigure stand, actually. Huh. Let's see. We were chilling this morning, and I had a cat lap all morning. Oh, that's fan mitten. You got stuff stuck to your tail. Is that how you play with these things? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's fantastic. Fantastically fun. Cat, cats are just ch cat chilling is the best chilling. Best type chillin'. There we go. I'm kind of tired of these display stands. Like, I've gotten a little bit too many. I went a little overboard. So, they've been great for the Money and Falcon and the. Um. Razor Crest, but and the slave. Besides that, I oh Mitten has some stuff on her tail. I will go take that off. Besides that, I yeah, I kind of went overboard on these display stands, so I'm slowing down and not just not getting them. There was like a sale or something this last week, and I just had zero desire for getting any more. So. Oh, I'm gonna go get that thing off of Mitten's tail. Alrighty, onward to cleaning this. Because the Mrs. Kitten, named Mitten, decided to come here. On the camera, yeah, you can see these spots. This is getting so dirty so fast. I need to choose a better color. What would be a good matte color. Mitten. 
Uh, get men's face right here. That'd be fun. All right, well, we shall finish this up today. It'll be good. Let's see, be right back, gotta hang out, um, hang my last little on me. Oh yeah, for sure. Go do that. And Mitten sure did work very hard, and I ruined her hard work getting that hair everywhere. I'm sorry, little kitty. My bad. You know, this set actually comes with a lot of minifigures. It's kind of nice. Okay, my... I have my stickers in here somewhere. There we go. Alright, who is this? So, the other people we got last time were the Flumes. And this is Madame Rose... Marita, Rosmarita, Madame Mosarita, then Professor McGonagall, Dean Thomas. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I can remember that. Madame someone. Rosmaria. Mo Rose Marita. Rosmarita. Rosmarita. Madame Ros Rosmarita. Madame Rosmarita? Ah, see, I'm just trying to get this down. Madame Mo Rosmarita. Rosmarita. And welcome, hello, love me some trees. Good to have you here. So let's show off Madame Mos Rosmarita. This is Madame Rosmarita. Oh, look, I can stick them on here. This is Madame Mos Rosmaris Marita. I don't know how to say it. Ugh, no oh well. We just get to the building. I, I don't need Madame Rosmaria. I just want to build Legos, but that's kind of what I'm doing already. Anyways, I recorded so many stuff for videos. Hopefully they all turn out well. <laughs> I'm hoping. I think they should be pretty good. But yeah, one thing I was thinking is... So I looked back at the video and the... Furnace... Or not furnace, just the AC thing going... Blowing through the house... Was not as loud... As I thought it would be. The thing that was actually louder... Was me playing Minecraft... So having the computer running. That was... That was what was funny. Is I didn't think that... I didn't realize that when I was playing Minecraft it would that the computer would be the biggest background noise so that was kind of funny let's see when you picked up pumpkin was he soft and fluffy I don't know how silkies feel they well silkies are usually very soft and fluffy they feel how they look but just Pumpkin's currently a little, seems a little less clean than he normally should be. And same with Blueberry. Like, if you were to pick up Blueberry right now, she would not feel the same or normal how you should, you'd think. Or, yeah, doesn't feel normal. So, or Miss F sometimes. But normally, yes, they are very soft and fluffy. I like it. What's the... If you've ever had felt the down in a down blanket or a down pillow, like down feathered pillow, 
their feathers just all feel kind of like that. So it almost seems extra soft. But chickens are actually just very soft in general, which is kind of something amazing. You maybe wouldn't think chickens would be just soft when you see them, but they, they honestly are. I want a silky, but they seem to get very dirty easily. They do. They do. You just have to clean them, take care of them. But honestly, like, if you think of it, we haven't given, well, oh, we've given our silkies the most baths out of any other chickens. But, overall, maybe this is, like, bad caring for them. I don't know. But we haven't given them too many baths in their lifetime. Like, if, compared to me. Have you felt flint? <clears throat> okay. Flint, I will say, is the least soft chicken that I've ever picked up. Because, for some reason, his feathers just are not growing back in. So... The absence of feathers is not soft. I will say that. Flint has just some poke. Like, the feathers he has are soft, but they're almost so fluffy. He looks like he has more feathers than he actually has. And he's small. Like, Pocket is bigger than him. Like, his body. When you pick him up, you're like, wow, you have just a small, small little body. So that's how Flint is like. Uh, but yeah, there's just some of those feathers that just haven't grown in. Those ones are the not soft ones, like the plucked out, just right, um, those ends. So that's what doesn't feel good. Besides that, yeah, he's he's a chicken, so yeah, of course he'd be soft. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. I love Flynn. <laughs> he's adorable. Letty is actually... Oh, excuse me. So soft. Like, out of all the ro roosters, I think Lenny's the softest rooster. Because Pocket kind Pocket is. Like, he's he's normal, but he's a little bit... His feathers are a little less fluffy. They're very... I picked up Disco the other day, and he was relatively soft, too. But... The thing is, yeah, Lenny's Lenny's the softest of, of everyone. I'm gonna give that award to Lenny. So, sorry, everyone else. And he's probably even softer than anyone at the farm, just because at the farm they get just animals down there get a little bit more raggedy, because. They're just living in more nature. Lot Disco is so handsome. The hens don't like him as much as Chat. They, I know. It's like, guys, why don't you like the uh, Disco? He's just adorable. So, I should go give give all those hens a good talk and say, okay, this is Disco. He grew up with you all, and he should be. Be happy. Well, welcome, hey ya, back at ya. <laughs> yeah, I like how that rhymed. <clears throat> it is good to have you all here with us today. Yeah, I'm gonna probably keep it all today's stream relatively simple. I haven't, I feel like I haven't done a long stream in a while. But, today might be the day, but also may not. Okay, this is cute. I gotta show you. We'll see. So when's that stream with Millie happening? Um, if Mitten is getting this mat dirty, I can only imagine how dirty Millie would get it as well. So we'd have to figure it out. But we're going to do something a little different with Millie. So those are just cute. There's like little froth going out the top and there's a drink. So I like these. They're just cute little 
ginger beer or something. Not ginger beer. It's um, butter beer. There we go. So, yeah, we have we have something with Millie. Don't worry. We will. It's just it may may include Legos, but it may not. So, it's going to be probably more on the YouTube channel stuff. So, we're going to have some cool videos. Like, some never seen before stuff. I'm just going to be so vague, but try to be as exciting as possible. Because it is exciting. We got really good stuff. Butter beer, yeah, it's butter beer on here. You know, I never had any. I have not. I need to go to Universal Studios. That would be fun. You net, you like never seen before stuff. Exactly, that is the kind of stuff. You know what kind of stuff it is. It's like the never type of seen stuff before. It's that good stuff. <laughs> the bestest stuff. You like the video so you're excited? Well, exactly. It's a it's a video that's never been done before. Like there's the fun little Millie ones that I've done and following them around, that type of stuff. That's been fun. I've liked those videos. But we're going to do even bigger. And I don't know. I'm just just going to say bigger and better just because it would sound fun to say. Yeah. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's going to be Fantastic. He's bigger. He's better. So yeah, it will be fun. Super fun. Okay, so now we just need to make it. Just get busy with so many things. You build Legos so quickly. <laughs> it's because I have so many Legos. I'm like, I must, I must build them fast so that I can get through all the Legos I have. Or, okay, I here's something we got to, uh, I get criticized on this all the time. First calling the Lego, Legos. So I'm going to, just because to make everyone else happy, because it actually is the official way is to say Lego. There is no such thing as Legos. I'm going to fix my pronunciation and I'll become very eloquent in the Lego speak. So I will say it Lego from now on, no matter what. Look at my Lego. Do you want a whole bunch of Lego? You like it flows, it fits, it's real good. It's not like that, it's just, I'm gonna have to I don't care if you call them Legos. Okay, well, that's good. If I, I'm not saying like, yeah, I'm just, it's going to be something I'm going to be my own self-conscious about, maybe. Or I could just be like, I'm going to ignore you all and say it however I want. It's my own sort of thing. They're Lego losses. We got all these Lego losses, okay? <laughs> um, Lego my ego? Uh, yeah. Hello, I remember the ad ad. <laughs> yes, there you go. I've got this ad tune in my head. So, which ad is it? Is it the Lego Ego? Is that really an ad? Because if it is, I do not know. Wait. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Another way I build Legos fast is I usually just skip past these and telling me what to get and just look at the page. What's new? I don't know why this would make it faster because it, you'd have to search versus just being told exactly what. But that's what usually what I do is I just look at the page and be like, okay, what am I adding? Or I'll take a quick glance at it, but not the numbers amount. Usually I look at the piece like, okay, I need that piece, but not that 
quantity. I don't look at the quantity exactly. You didn't answer my sheep question. I didn't see it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Were you there? Here, I found it. Don't worry. I found it. Were you there when Farmer Spence picked up the Will, W, Willis, Winona, and Will, Will, Willow, Winona, and Willis? There we go. <laughs> I was wondering how some of the shots were taken. So, yeah, I filmed that video, uh, that YouTube video. I filmed and edited it. I feel I kind of want to do videos along that style. Those are pretty nice, but uh, the style that we're going to try, I think, could be even greater, though. We will we'll try it. It will be fun. We have big stuff. Big stuff. Okay, I'm just I'm done with that. But, yeah, for... I did do the filming for that. So thanks for thanks for asking. Cause no, that was like one of the first Filmer Tim videos. That's where Filmer Tim was born essentially. Was making that. Picking up the sheep video. And honestly, that's one of my favorite I've posted on the Our Chicken Life page. And it was like the first one. So just saying, it's good. <laughs> I'm happy. So then it almost makes me think, have I increased in my film, filming skills at all if I really liked that one? Or editing skills? I don't know. I loved it. I was wondering how you got some of the shots with Farmer Spencer's in the truck when you're on the road. <laughs> yep. Yep, I did it. Did he just leave you there all alone for a few minutes? <laughs> I don't know. There was just a camera guy. Camera guy did official stuff. He, uh, yeah, he drove away. You're hearing all the behind the scenes. But he drove away, then looped around back and picked me up. So I had to drive on the road twice, but that's how filmmaking is sometimes. I mean, like, almost all the time. It goes just like that. But he's, you're hearing the tricks. Tricks of a master. It was a nice shot. I really enjoyed that video. Okay, well, thank you so much. Glad you enjoyed it. A lot. Because I enjoyed making it. A lot. I love that pocket was there, too. Oh, it was fun. He was... Those were the good pocket days when he wouldn't just attack you for anything. He'd actually, because now sometimes he'd even attack Farmer Spence. So Pocket's like, I am not, he doesn't like his travels anymore. So he he's a changed man. Where did this go? Even though he's not a man, he's a rooster. He's a changed rooster. Where, oh, this is that picture. Okay, fun story though from that trip. We went to Wendy's, and Pocket, of course, was on Farmer Spence's lap. So, and then the, all the people at the Wendy's, uh, we were through the drive-thru. They all... Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, like, always attack Farmer Spence, but, like, through travel time, he'll, he doesn't like it. He has to travel by crate now. So, um... And now you want a Frosty? Well, me too, so... Let's go get them. Let's get some Frosties. But we were at Wendy's, and at the drive-thru, ordered our food, and then all the people there, the attending, the cash register and everything. So the good, I think it was like, yeah, the lady at the cash register saw the chicken, saw pocket, was like, oh, what? There's a chicken? And then it was like, hey, everyone, come look at this. They have a chicken. And then, so everyone... From all of the all of the Wendy's employees just came to say hi to Pocket, and then Pocket just was so excited to say hi back that he just jumped through through the window because the window was open into the <laughs> into the Wendy's, and then uh, I think then the lady just ended up was like ah and grabbed 
pocket and then gave pocket back and it was kind of awkward but it was really funny because pocket wanted to become one with the Wendy's he wanted to become a Wendy's employee so that is the story of pocket at Wendy's <laughs> he was so funny they loved him they were like I've never seen that before just a chicken chilling with you and honestly I hadn't either <laughs> So, it was one of those fun things. That was like, I just want to take Pocket on the journey because Pocket needs fun times. Did someone just follow there in the stream? Maybe they should follow at the beginning. Welcome, followers that I see. I would 100% bring a chicken on a drive if I had one. <laughs> yeah. But Pocket, I would not take anymore. He's... Maybe we pampered him and spoiled him a little too much. Where he just thinks he owns the world because we showed him the world. He's traveled the most out of any of our chickens. So, I don't know if it ruins them. Pumpkin on a drive, see? Pumpkin on a drive maybe is a good idea. Because we could get him going. Kind of get him out of his comfort zone a little and back to his normal self. Because he's been so shy lately. He needs he needs it. That'd be kinda of fun, just make a video of pumpkin on a drive. Okay, that could I could see that type of video doing really well. Just say spending the chicken or well, spending a day with the chicken and just take pumpkin on a where everywhere I go, like take him through the store and all that. Like that, there you go. That's a good video. You, I found the recipe for success on making videos that people like. Is you just have to do stuff no one's ever done before. Just, or things that people wouldn't normally do. And who normally, like do you, how often have you seen and just been like when you're at the store seeing someone holding a chicken, taking a chicken with it, with them. I don't ever see that. So, taking a chicken. Pumpkin, I don't know. Pumpkin's been a little bit more running away. Like Sophie, Mabel, and Ada, they'd all be totally okay with that. So maybe you take them. But I like that. It's, that could be a good idea. I'll talk to I'll talk to Dad about that. Get a chicken leash. <laughs> well, they wouldn't like the chicken leash. That would get that would more inspire them to run away but uh, UK don't really allow animals in stores it makes sense I think <laughs> the way you have to do it is you just kind of have to the way to get around the law is just pretend like you're above the law or just don't know you just kind of just act confident in whatever you're doing but don't ask questions just do it I'm not saying this is like good life advice just Say you go into the store, uh, here in at least America, even dogs stay out except guide dogs. Yep. Yeah. So, cause honestly, like, yeah, you think Pocket went through the local grocery store? He's gone to Walmart. He's probably even gone to Home Depot. So, Pocket's been a lot of places. Yeah, no, not many stores in Canada Canada let animals in. Lowe's and Home Depot's allow pets in stores. Yeah, that would make sense having your little, little dogs at the Home Depot. Like that's a place makes sense to have animals there. Like it works. Would be awesome as a parrot that just um, is always on my shoulder. I actually met someone in Hawaii it was just so they just seemed like such a they were like a pirate they had a parrot on their shoulder just like all the time it was so funny I was like wow that's cool but one of the things that I realized about having a parrot on your shoulder all the time is how much poop gets on your back so there's just like a streak and I'm sure the pirates in the olden days probably had just a poop pile on their back on their shoulder for where the parrots parrots were so I guess you have to be wary of that 
Yeah, Home Depot doesn't let dogs in anymore because a dog bit someone. Oh, yeah. That's one of the things about dogs is when they bite people, it's no fun. I agree with that. Because I've actually been bit by a dog. Story time. It was like when I was 12. Can you see this scar? So it's right there, this little dot. Yeah, you can see that. There's the scar right there. That's where a dog bit me. And, yeah, it was no fun. Did not, don't, I didn't enjoy it. It was scary. I was just walking up to my friend's house, like walking past our neighbor's house, and then the dog just charged out. And I'm like, I'm usually totally cool with dogs. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'll just walk away, be like, okay, dog. But this one just kept charging. I was like, okay, okay. And then I just was like, okay, I'm going to pick up speed, get a little bit, um, a little bit farther away because I don't want to get hurt by the dog. I want to give him his space. He looks like he's trying to ask for space. So I give him his space, but he didn't, he didn't think that was enough. So I had to keep running, and then the dog was like just, just far away from me. And I, I think I even, the dog then started jumping. I like did a little bit of a kick to try to just get it off. I was like, ah, and then I think I was kind of silly trying to like then push the dog off and then he bit my hand. And it was, this was like one of the weirdest, weirdest feelings I've ever had in my life was the dog just sitting there on my arm and like I moved it and like I could just, I don't know how do you describe this? Just the dog lay leaving its teeth in you as you move and then it finally it's not by my choice that it let go it's by its own choice it lets go and I was like Ugh. just even thinking about it it's like weird so then I just I kept walking up towards towards my friend's house because I was like I just got to get as far away as I can and then I was able to call call my parents because yeah this all happened when I was 12 if I I mentioned it, but I didn't really say. I didn't start the story. When I was a 12-year-old, far, far away in the galaxy of 12-year-old land, I was attacked by a dog. So, I was 12, and then I called home. Then we went to the doctor. They shot, oh, this was the weirdest feeling. They had to disinfect the, the, the bite. So they took their syringe and disinfected it. I had to like squeeze it in there. I was like, ah, I can feel it under my skin. And then they squirted it through and cleaned it out. And then they didn't stitch it or anything. They just put bandages over it and let it do, yeah, let it heal on its own. But one of the nice things, though, was we got some ice cream bars afterwards to help me feel a little better. And then I took the ice cream bars to my friend's house. I mean, I still hung out that day. So, like, brave little little me. Yeah. Just uh, hanging out with my friends afterwards. Yeah, it was good. It was good. But, yeah. Whew. Dog attacks. No fun. But even though I had that experience, I'm just going to say I'm not, like, one of those people who get super scared whenever they see a dog. I still am have my own it self. I'm like, okay dog I'm still I'm still the boss here who's at the top of the food chain me not saying I'm gonna eat the dog but just that I am I'm there so um, now I can see what did you all say well I had my little bit of story time all righty dog bites are no fun I will agree with with you right there, 100%. But the person literally put their face in the cart and got bit. Okay, yeah, that's kind of dumb. You, you can't expect a dog to not bite you when you pester it like that. It's like, okay, really? If the dog didn't bite you, I'd be surprised. Guinea pig bites are ouch too. I have not been bit by a guinea pig, but I can only imagine, and I would trust you that they would be. I don't think I've been bitten by a dog, but I have been bitten by a rat. Oof. And have a scar on your left thumb. Ooh, there you go. Rat scar. And those can be deadly. Rats can have some bad stuff in them. I think Charles. Charles has been bitten by a rat before as well. So, 
I gotta go talk with him about the rat rat bites. And let's see. I was attacked by a rooster when I was around five. Yeah, I feel ya. Pocket does it every day. Just kidding. He does it like every other day, but most days he kind of does. <laughs> but I feel ya, and uh, at least I'm not five, so the rooster's not as scary. But I got chased down by a geese when I was something like five years old. That was a little scary. But now I know that geese, I can just be like, I'm, uh, I'm the man. And then they're like, okay, okay, he's the man. So they don't attack me. But if you get in like their personal space, like just if you're walking by and yeah, try to just keep your distance, just be a little bit more passive with the geese. They're like, okay, fine. Especially if you feed them, they're like, okay, that's cool. I like this guy. Um, oh, you thought I was about to say Charles got the plague from a rat? Luckily, he didn't, but we were scared for a little bit that he would. It was like, I think we did take him to the doctor just to be, make sure he was all safe and everything. And they said, yep, yours good, your rat was not deadly rat. But it was a little scary. Um, yeah, dog bites can be infectious Oh, prone. That is very true, and that's what I was talking about, the... Uh, having to the bird do the, the disinfected stuff. My pig is completely blind, and if he doesn't know you're there and goes near his ear, eyes will bite and hurt badly. Oof. He attacks your socks. Yeah. So that is kind of crazy, D. Your, your pig. Guinea pig or just pig? I don't know. We'll say, well, you shot pig. I'm gonna say pig. The pig attacks if you're not known. So you have to, like, make yourself known. It's kind of kind of like in Harry Potter with the hippogriffs. You have to make sure they know that you're friendly versus just going in there like Malfoy and just saying, oh, I got this. Okay, guinea pig. Okay. Right on. That's what I thought because you were talking about guinea pigs earlier. And... Yeah, crazy. Yeah, that was fun. Guinea pigs are fun little guys. I like them. I don't think I've ever had a guinea pig, but my cousin did. They, those are fun. I was like, I liked that. I liked their guinea pig. I was a fan. But I'm glad I never got bit, or else maybe would have bad memories associated with them. Versus the fun, cutesy ones. There we go. That was pretty fun, just reminiscing about all these stories with animals. That's making me see I have a lot more stories than I thought I did. I didn't even share everything that I could. Wait, okay. My dog used to be able to climb a ladder. What? No way. That's kind of crazy. I'm glad my cats aren't able to do that or else I'd be a little scared. We didn't teach her. She just wanted to follow everyone. That's everywhere. That makes sense. Dogs, when they have a goal, they're like, I want this. They are persevere. They do a very good at perseverance, I will definitely say.
Let's see if I don't like... Wait, wait, wait. Okay. She couldn't go high, but she would get off the ground. See, that's kind of insane. That is crazy. See, that's why we need you need a monkey. Just a monkey can then ultimately follow you anywhere because monkeys can... They can climb for sure. Easy. Um... Wait, what just happened? Um, let's see, if I don't take Tesla back home for food after a couple times, he'll jump up on my face saying food. That's how a lot of animals are. <laughs> the, kid, the cats, Mitten, and Tiger can be a little bit like that every, every day in the morning. It's like, get on my phone! <laughs> wow, well, expecting a storm of snow where is your <laughs> chat can be I mean the twitch can be a little insane so yeah that's all it was, was just twitch Shay and doing their own thing being like I'll be crazy <coughs> hello hello Amans. it is cold out there well it's cold inside because AC, but if we didn't have the AC, it would not be cold. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is Dean Thomas, my friend. Dean Thomas. Say hello, everyone, to Dean Thomas. And then Miss Madam. It's not Madam Pumphrey, it's Madam. Machuki, I don't know. And then Professor McGonagall. I don't think I showed her off last time. It's kind of an interesting Professor McGonagall. It's probably my... It's not among my favorites done. That's good. Um, We get the Arctic air hitting us at the moment. Oof. Crazy. One degree Celsius is insane. That's nah, cold. Let's see, I was just saying my dog was an escape artist. She was a German Shepherd mix. And she squeezed out of two-inch opening out of the car window. What? That's crazy. Two inches. Such a, that is an escape artist at heart right there. I couldn't do that if I wanted. No, sir. Says it feels like negative two Celsius. What? Yeah, is it winter and it's eight AM. Eight AM. It's a little different here. Not quite that cold and not uh, quite that wintry. But of course you know because chickens <laughs> I don't know how to experience in the, that sort of cold right now. Oh uh, yes, hopefully it does help expecting storms. Yeah, things can be crazy sometimes. This really is quite 
the fun building to build. So we've been doing some height. I kind of want to build this way so you can all just see the height get add on over time. It's a little bit harder. But it's a fun one. This works for this. It works for this one. <laughs> Let's see what's the question. So do you have Christmas? Um, question, do you have Christmas and do you have the Lego advent calendars? Uh, yes, I do have Christmas. I love Christmas. Among the favorite holidays, I just love the season. It just, it makes, at least puts me in the, in a happy, cheerful mood. Not like I'm not already, but I like it Christmas. But, uh, the second question, do I have the Lego advent calendars? Yes, I do. I, well... I did the last one year last year's and I did one the year before that as well. So I enjoy the Lego Advent Calendars a lot. This year will be a little exciting because I think they're doing a Marvel one as well. So they're gonna have Star Wars City. They're gonna have I think they're gonna have this many they're gonna have a Star Wars, a City, Friends, Harry Potter, and Marvel. There's going to be five different advent calendars. I remember they used to only have one. But I guess they do so well. I'll probably get... I'm going to get the Harry Potter. Um, probably not the Star... Oh, I don't know. There's some... I'll probably do the Star Wars because there's special Mandalorian stuff. And I'm just trying to collect Mandalorian things. And then... Uh, I guess I'll probably just do Harry Potter Star Wars. Because I don't need the friends. Don't need the city. Oh, the Marvel one. I'll do the Marvel one, too. I'll do those three. Ugh, that's so much, though. Hopefully, I can get them on discount on Amazon or Walmart. They, Those places usually have them on discounts. Um, but, uh, let's see. So, what's the lowest temperature you normally get there? It's interesting to care, compare winter temps. Yeah. Uh, the lowest? I don't know. It does get pretty cold. Whatever it's been at the chickens, I probably... Honestly, I feel like I probably don't know the best out of anyone to ask. Because I'll just say 30, let's see, 30 degrees is, 30 degrees is freezing. So, yeah, that's Fahrenheit. Where I live, I've experienced negative 34, yeah. It's pretty close to where expecting storms, but I think it's gotten colder for for her. So, not quite as cold, but 50, negative 50. Yeah, it's gotten that cold. It's going to get cold. It's going to be brutal. Mind you, our cold is very humid. Oof, see, humid cold is so bad. Because you just, it's like you're breathing in icicles. I actually... It's been a while since I've experienced freezing cold, I think. Or humid cold. It's been, I, what do I mean by freezing cold? Of course I've experienced freezing cold because that's just... Oh my. One degree or so in the last two years of chicken. See, yeah. See, expecting the storms knows better because you look at the temperature at the chickens and then you understand. But it's like I, I even though I've lived here my whole life, I don't know what the normal temperature is because I don't check the temperature too often. I more check it at the hots but not the colds. It's kind of interesting. Hots I've been is in Dubai in the summer, 45 degrees Celsius. 
heat and a hundred humidity. <laughs> it's that's crazy, I must say. Yeah, I cheated observing the stream's temps. No, yeah, that's cool. Definitely cool. Because that's the way to know. Welcome, Manikinil. Manikil. Let's see. Men. Achilles for following. I think I got it right. Menoclis for following. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> see, the first time I read someone's name, it, it always seems to go the same, so. Yeah, I was just, that's just me. I just messed up. I don't know. Oh. Menace. Ing. Lee. Menace. Ing. Lee. There we go. That's cooler. So much cooler than what I said. Just, just saying. Menacingly. Probably a real word, but I don't know. I like it. That's a cool name. Cool name. Medicine League. Welcome. And hello, snubs. Well, snubbins. Snubbins. <laughs> uh. Okay. I probably said that. I'm, my goal is to say everyone's name wrong at least once it's kind of a stupid goal but you can't I can do it I think I can do it <laughs> I got it right okay good opinion of the legs of legs so the chicken named legs has very long legs his legs are insane I was talking about last week how this is crazy I saw the clip of how he was able to walk onto the chicken roost and one just swoop, just step up there. I was like, "Wow, yeah, you got them long legs." That was my that was my proof. So I call you Sempris. That's pro. Yeah, that's what I've said before. So Sempris. Oh, that clip's nuts. Yeah, he's crazy. See, I thought you were going to be, when you're talking about legs, I thought you were going to be, what's your opinion of Legos? <laughs> Leg, uh, those. But as I said, I don't say Legos anymore. Just, just Lego, of course. I don't know. I'll, I'll get there. I can't wait to see him off of that. I know. It's going to be insane. He's going to be a big rooster. Oh, okay. This, this roof piece. Okay, y'all gotta check this out. Pretty nifty. So, we just put together this little roof right there. So there's this thing, shield, but it looked like that side before. That's kind of, this side's kind of doesn't look that good. Like, and kind of, kind of lame. But then we were able to put, build this roof piece with the snow. Just fits so well. And then this little trim, just beautiful. I love it a lot. Yeah, and legs is going to be an Orpington. And Orpingtons get fluffy. So, I mean, not going to be. He, he is. He's a lavender Orpington. <laughs> it's not like he's going to change. So, he will be very fluffy. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah, so today, Lego announced their, the next set that they, that got, ex not accepted, the next set that's going to become a Lego set from the Lego Ideas submissions. So Lego idea, Lego has Lego Ideas, where people, just like fans, community, people like us are able to submit their own Lego creation, and it has the opportunity of becoming a Lego set. So... There was a submission of like 20 that got approved, that hit the 10,000. When you get 10,000 votes, you become entered in a way, but you get a chance at your set becoming a Lego set. And they, there was a, the last one that they did, had 20 submissions that hit the 10,000. 
but they were only able to choose one of them to be it. And there were a few of them that I was really wanting, especially there was a Gravity Falls Mystery Shack that I really wanted, and there was a bag and the, like a little Lord of the Rings, anything Lord of the Rings, of course I'd want that. And oh, the, what was the other? There was like a couple more I was wanting. There was then medieval, like a medieval village, that would have been awesome. But the thing that got picked was a lighthouse. Did Gravity Falls win? No, it did not. I was sure hoping it would. That was my number one pick. Because I have already have Lord of the Rings stuff, but there's nothing Gravity Falls. So I was hoping they'd do the Gravity Falls, but Gravity Falls did not win. So, oh, but a lighthouse sounds neat. So yeah, it is a lighthouse. That is the winner. Because it, it will be the lighthouse. So that one will, that will be cool. It's going to be... A, probably very equivalent to what hey oh wow. to this is a little crazy to put on okay <laughs> yeah let's do this correctly was probably what is the closest oh there was also an adams family that could have been it that would have been fun there was Avatar The Last Airbender. But, like, thinking of what LEGO Ideas does, it, it makes sense for why they chose what they chose. But, still, was hoping Gravity Falls. Hold on. So, the lighthouse has a lot of detail, and they said it, like, one of the reasons why they chose it was because of the detail work and, like, the mechanics inside of it. And LEGO has been choosing a lot of the stuff with some crazy mechanics to be their Lego idea sets. So that will be kind of exciting to see the mechanics of the lighthouse that they put in. I do not see how is this supposed to go on? That there's loads of Disney stuff. There is. Let's see. This one seemed like there's a little less Disney things. Like last time there was the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh, no, no. That's going to be the next time. Next one. That's one of the possibilities is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. There was the Disney, the Steamboat Willie. That was one of them. So that set that we have. And I'm just struggling on this piece. What? I did something wrong, I think. Oh, that's what I did. Oh my. Come on. I haven't struggled with a Lego League for a long time. Oh, there was also some cars. I think it was like the Ford truck. But I didn't think that one would win because they're releasing a Ford truck next month, I think. But overall, it's cool. It's cool to know what's going to be. And the lighthouse, I'm sure I'll end up getting it. Alrighty, well, I need some water. Because it's been like an hour. And my water bottle's empty. I forgot to fill it beforehand. So, I'm going to go fill my water bottle up. And I'll be back. And I need to take a break because this, this guy was a little too crazy for me. Let's see. There you go. Now you can admire the work. Just take a break from the hard Lego.
I'm back. So this is a box of a Lego that came today. I got it on the Prime Deals because Amazon Prime has it. It's on sale currently for Prime Day. It's a ship in a bottle. <laughs> Once again, another Lego Ideas set. Those are the some of my favorites. But it was just upstairs sitting on the table. I was like, oh, I might as well bring that down while I'm coming downstairs. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I... I kind of just had my eye on it for a while, but it wasn't one that I totally was like, oh, I'll just buy it on lego.com when it's in stock, because it's been in stock for a while on lego.com. Um, but then it was on the Dale sales, for sale, and I was thinking, you know, it's a good one. Might as well get it for just just a little deal. There was no other crazy ones that I was wanting. Just slowly on my path to own every Lego set. Just kidding, I won't. But what I oops. But I am excited for it just because it was one that I was thinking like it looks super cool. It's such a fun idea. But I just needed to just need to get it sometime. Waiting for a deal. Saw the deal. Got it. Oh, you know, that's kind of a fun name. Dodge. I kind of like that. I'll, I'm going to bring that up. It's a fun name. See, I'm not going to have write it down or anything because if it's a good name, it will stick. I don't have to write it anywhere. It's just stick. Be like Dodge. That's, so, we'll see if it stands the test of my remembrance. Me thinking of just to bring in the name pool. <laughs> oh, there's two in this. Okay, there we go. Uh, it's been one of that's actually been one of my favorite name suggestions so far. It's a good one. I like it. Not saying that this is gonna be the name. I don't have final say over anything. Not just not anything. Just final say over the exact name. Oh, good. Love me some cheese. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're glad. We are almost done with this set. We I kind of have just been booking through it. But it took me about an hour. That's how long I was thinking it would take. Because the last one took about an hour. So, an hour for this one. Makes sense. So, I was thinking we could, we have a few other things we could probably do. It could be fun. Of course, there's always more Lego sets.
and this should be the final piece. Ta-da! Oh, and this is our collectible cards. Let's see because which ones we got. We got four cards in this set. So we have Godric Gryffindor. So this is Godric Gryffindor. And then this one I think is Rowena Ravenclaw. Which we already had her. Is this Cornelius Fudge? Oh, this is Minerva McGonagall. And Helga Hufflepuff. Come on. You gonna focus? Helga Hufflepuff. So yeah, these are the little little cards. They say there's wizard there's sixteen wizard cards to collect. Kinda like with the chocolate frogs. So what we currently have are from the two sets we've built, is we have these ones. So we got one duplicate of Rowan, Rowena Ravenclaw, but that is it so far. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to, cause I'm gonna buy it, how, all the sets. And actually, we could build some more Harry Potter sets. You know, honestly, maybe we should. We'll just take a look at, we'll do like the girls' bathroom, that'd be fun. So those are our collectible cards. So, we have Honey Dukes, which we built last time, and then Three Broomsticks, which we built today. And these are just a cute little, cute little buildings. This is the set I've been so excited for out of the new stuff. And just a few days ago, I ordered the, ordered this big one that for the Hogwarts set. I've ordered that set, so that one. But we have these two right now, so we could build those. That could be fun. Well, let's just take a quick peek at it like this. Oh, it looks even better on this camera. Just la 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 la. And there you go. Little village. Set up our little guys. So, yeah, that will be perfect. I like it a lot. Um, and let's just put it back right here. So I'll be, I'll take this upstairs, but I'm gonna make a little, probably a little video on it. But then it'll go upstairs, I think. Or they could, they probably could stay right there for now until I end up building Diagon Alley. Because Diagon Alley is what I plan on putting, putting over here. There we go. That's cute. Cute little village right there. Alrighty. Since I have a little bit more time, we're going to build this set. So this is... Polyjuice Potion Mistake. And it is a mistake because Hermione becomes a cat because they were drinking Polyjuice. So, lesson learned, don't drink Polyjuice when you don't know whose hair you're actually consuming or putting in or DNA going through. But, I guess there would be other learning lessons you can learn from this but so is it two bag it is a two bag set all right fancy single instructions so this is i think the smallest set of their new ones and oh these are for the mirrors i've kind of been thinking about getting a second one of this because i could then finish off the circle for that but i probably won't end up doing that it's just fun little thought just to it gets me thinking, I guess.
Now, kids, don't drink the random thing you find in the bottle in the bathroom. Exactly. There you go. That is the life lesson we learn right there. You know, follow, follow their example. Good examples. Oh, this is a great, great piece. Okay. So, they're going to build Hermione. Oh, these minifigures are great. I'm... I love the um, minifigures, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. They're the newest ones are my favorite. These are good. I've like there's some of the old ones that look just so whack, but these new ones are really good. Especially for like their first and second year. Polyjuice Potion was a second year thing. Yeah, it was. Chamber of Secrets, of course. That makes sense. And... She has a cup. Oh, we also have his wand. Oh, I lost the piece. Let me grab it. This guy fell on the ground. Oh, you have to go. See you next time. Well, I will see you next time. Thank you for joining. What you did. It's been so fun having you here today. And come on, where's the little little cup? There it is. Ah, oh, I love these cup molds. It's great. So, these. Oh, we need to zoom in here. Zoom zooms. Well, here's our Golden Harry. This is the gold figure that comes in this set. It is a great one. And then we get Hermione, where she drinks up this green magical liquid that she found in the bathroom. And then uh, she turned into a cat because it was cat hair in the polyjuice instead of human hair so she kind of messed up so it was it was a mistake this is the mistake that happened um <clears throat> let's see oh how was feeding the chickens this morning it was grand so good i i love doing it Welcome Kabuki Oso. Glad to have you here today. Oh, I didn't even see Snubbins. Thank you for following and it is sorry for not saying it earlier. I saw you pushing away pocket. Yeah, yeah. He deserves it. He he tries attacking me. We got this cute little spoon, and you use it to, in your cauldron. Just oh, it's great. This has some good, fun little things. Not saying that I, I don't like Pocket. I love Pocket so much. He's just if he's gonna bite my foot, I'm gonna say no. You can't bite my foot.
All right, this is going to be a small little little build, but it will be a good one. Good and exciting. So one of the fun things with this Hogwarts castle that we are currently building is you're able to kind of mix and match and put it however you want. One-handed mode. What? Okay, five minutes still. 640 uh, something. 41. One-handed mode. This is, a, this is good. It will work. I can make it, but... One hand. Oh, sorry. Left hand is what we got to do. Left hand. Left handed mode too. I just, I tell them, tell that to myself. Yuck. Yuck. It makes it, makes it harder. But at least we're not doing Technic because that was impossible. I just bypassed the time by not building when we were building some Technic stuff. That just did not work. One hand. This build works. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Just encouraging myself. Yeah. Building Lego with one hand. Hey, I see you said Lego. Ha <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Takes a little bit more effort. Just a little. Tad. One smidge. Smidge effort. Takes smidge effort. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tim. What are you saying? Alright, one thing I was thinking. So, yeah, we'll end the stream at 6. Seven. That's a good idea. So probably just after this set is what it will be. Because I'm going to go outside and there's a little bit of just the rocks for the chicken area that I'm going to bring those down to help out. So, Tim, I'm just at over 700,000 eggs. That's crazy awesome. So cool. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> So it's looking like there is a little bit of a secret to this bathroom, which I wasn't unsure if there was going to be, but I'm excited. You just reached 25,000. Woo woo. That is pretty nice as well. I'll be watching you at the chickens too. <laughs> okay, cool. So the first stuff I'm doing is not going to be in the chicken yard. I may get to that today. We'll see. But I have stuff that's for the chickens but not in the chicken yard all the time i'm going for one million egos you can do it you definitely can easy easy peasy just just work hard <laughs> it's easy as working hard yeah you know one, so I just thought, this thought, because you've been talking about eggs, I could change my channel points, name, and image to be bricks. So, like, redeem 100 bricks for hydrate. It's not a bad idea. I should do that. But I'm still, I gotta keep, I like my Oscars. So, Oscars for the subscribers are still pretty nice. I don't feel like getting rid of that. Oh, still one more minute of one-handed mode. You like the idea of bricks? That would be fun, yeah. But I don't think I'm ever going to change my name out of Film or Tim. I'm, I'm pretty good with that. I could make it Builder Tim or whatever. Creator. Creator works pretty well, too. Crafter. Minecrafters Tim. <laughs> Minecrafter Tim. Nah, I'm gonna. I'll keep filming Tim. It's fine. Eats fun and fine. Because everything I do is, is filming. I'm filming myself right now. 
One-handed mode is over! Boom! We got two hands now. This is a good, good day. Got two hands. I like what's sitting on my other hand, so it kind of hurts. <laughs> Oops. Wait, okay, now I'm confused if this is the bathroom's... Oh, it, can it fold out? Okay. I'm excited to see what this bathroom does. I feel like there's some crazy things that I've not seen this bathroom do before. But I haven't looked at, like, too many reviews of it. Just people kind of talking about it, looking at the box art. A little bit. But this, so far, is a cool set. Oh, okay. You all gotta see this toilet. It's cute. I. T How can a toilet be cute, though? Well, even though you've been asking that question, I'm about to show you and blow your mind away how a toilet can be cute. Oops. Oh, oh. The broken, it's broken. Okay, you see it? This is a little, little toilet. Cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I feel kind of weird for, for that. So you can you can ignore it if you if you like. This is just making me think of the troll encounter from their first year. It's like building the bathroom when they're when Hermione's in the girl's bathroom and the troll comes and attacks and breaks the bust and open. I remember playing that in the Lego game, that scene. That was a fun scene in the Lego game. So. It's pretty good. There we go. Oh. So I kind of want to just get this set to be able to remake that own my remake that scene of my own. That could be fun. Oh, I think these are all extras. Okay, on to bag two. Um, this one only comes with oh, two mystery cards. All right, let's take a look at our two mystery cards. Oh, we got a new one. So this is Serf Serafina Piquiri, Safirina Piquiri. So that's who we got, Safirina Piquiri. <laughs> well, hello, Annie. Welcome. And then this one is Bertie Bot, which is another new one. We did not have Bertie Bot. So we got Bertie Bot. So he's the one that made all the flavored, flavored beans, the candy, and those are fun to have. If you've ever had the 
Birdie's bought of every flavored beans. They make them in real life. Just go. They're kind of expensive. They're also they're like the bean boozled, where there's flavors of different kinds. Okay, this is a great, great set because we got Ron. Okay, we gotta show this. So we have Ron and Harry, but they can become crab. And Goyle. Look at that! Too many figures. Okay, honestly, I kind of should get two sets just so I can have the Harry Ron version and then the Crab Goyle version. And then I can do my double thing, duel it up. Uh, see, I'm thinking I maybe get, I might get a second one of these sets just to do that little stuff I was thinking of. Look at this piece. I've never seen a piece like this before. Okay, I'm very intrigued what it does or how it's used. There's some cool pieces in here. I could I could dig this set just for some of the extra pieces. It's nice. Okay, we're getting a second one. It's only $20. Okay, $20 still. Kind of a lot. then somehow we'll make a double castle thing. It'll be good. Because I never even thought about the minifigure reason. Because that is a good reason. Uh, just my silly collectionist at heart right here. But also the creating part where I want to create a bigger bathroom. Even with more stall, another, because then I'd be able to add a second stall and then make the bathroom thing a whole circular, which is what it's more like in the movie. So that's, that's my reasoning, is for building bigger bigger bathroom kind of silly to make a bigger bathroom though but as me I'll be the silly one I'll do things not everyone shall do you always feel kind of cool when you build something like recreate it create it your own you just are like yeah I made that. I made a different. It's better and cooler because I did something myself. That's the cool thing about Legos. Oh, about Lego. Oh, this is the mirror piece. Okay. So there's this fun little reflective material. See, reflective. What, you, what can you see? I don't know. And this becomes the mirror.
So that's pretty fun how these have little the mirrors. Oh look, there you go. You can see a Lego the golden guys. That's sweet. There you go. You can see the mirror. I'll let I'll let you just look into it, stare into the soul of the mirror. But don't get too mesmerized that you become like that one guy in the Greek myths where he loses himself because he was too enchanted by his own beauty. So don't don't do that. I want I want you all to stay here, not be enchanted by yourself. <laughs> See, that's kind of silly how he was, but you're talking about Greek myths. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was the one guy's name? I just forgot. I don't know. Yeah. This guy who really liked his reflection guy. <laughs> yep. Because I was looking at these, I'm like, don't don't become that guy because it's reflective. Who put this sticker on? It's so crooked. Okay, it's just slightly crooked. Um, I'm assuming it's you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we'll see if we can get it off. I didn't realize how crooked it was. Like, it looks straight, but then when you put these pillars right next to it, it looks crooked. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Pff. Of course it's this guy. Nar... Yeah, Narciss... Nar... No. Narcissist? Narcissist. Yeah. Yep. Hashtag sticker trigger. Yeah, sticker trigger, so real. Stick but trigger. yeah, it's that's why it's called narcissism is so enveloped in yourself because of that guy called narcissist. What a name! Just born with the curse that he's gonna be a narcissist. Ah! I don't know that he's born with the curse. Going to be a narcissist. He just is a narcissist. Yeah. And so, therefore, narcissist was named narcissist because because of him. What a great namesake! Like, what a great legacy to have. This narcissism's call named after you. Yeah. What's your legacy? Well, my legacy is. Oh, hi there. I invented narcissism. I'm the coolest guy ever because now I've, I've created something that no one else has created before. Okay, you can't really move this. Well, see, I thought there was a reason for the gap, like that the thing would open up and you could go down into the Chamber of Secrets. But I'm kind of... Maybe you can. Maybe it still can do that. We'll see. You but just have to build it into a much bigger thing. I'm I'm thinking about getting a second one of these sets, just so I can have the Crab Goyle and a Ron Harry. Because look, they have double face because of their Polyjuice Potion. These figures are actually so neat. That is pretty cool. Only problem is, they're too short for... Being crab and goyle. <laughs> it's like they almost should have come with like a full on like another. This is them figure. in second year though. Well, yeah, but it still it talks so much about how they grew. <sighs> that's true. Because crab and goyle were just like so basically big. giants. Yeah, that's true. It so talks quite a bit about that. So fair enough. Like, they should have at least... So I could have just given them the, like, these longer yeah, legs? Yeah, just, like, the slightly longer legs. If they, if it came with another pair of those, that would have been cool. Oh, and love me tree, love me trees, some trees, and expecting swim, say hello, Edward. Yeah. Well, hello. Chat Hermione. She looks so sad as Cat Hermione. Well, she was just sad as Cat Hermione. Yeah, she was. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. She's just like, don't look at me. I look hideous. And then Moaning Myrtle's just sitting there laughing at her. Yeah. Moaning Myrtle is a very interesting character. 
Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Edward. <laughs> Speak some parcel tongue. My mouth. Parcel tongue. Speak. Now Crab can go in the Chamber of Secrets. He jumps down there. Crab doesn't go in the Chamber <laughs> of Secrets, silly Oh, Tim. you're right. It's Harry who goes. And he goes as a Gryffindor person. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone! <laughs> it's called magic. Because they're in the realm of... Uh, Hogwarts, so everything's magical. Where is he? Nowhere. Oh, I mean, where is he? <laughs> I don't know. Where'd he go? <laughs> this is him in the Chamber of Secrets. He's just like, hi. That, 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 Wait, that's kind of that, silly. That. Why did they do that? You know, I think they kind of made the Chamber of Secrets feel a little bit more scary in the movie. Yeah, like, I was thinking about it. Chamber of Secrets is kind of one of the scariest of them all. Like, a little bit. Just think about it. Like, I don't know, just in the book, it doesn't, like, he, it doesn't talk at all about them, like, having to do the, um, like, how the snake chases him. Yeah. Through the pipes in the movie? Like, the book doesn't say that at all, I don't think. I'm making my own modifications to this to make it more sturdy. Um, what are your modifications? So, see? And also, we got an M&M redeem, so we will eat those. Okay. The instructions say to put this piece, to like put it all along there and put these over by one. So just have these two pieces over by one. But then that makes this whole strip that's across right here just easy to pull off. Now it's hard to pull off. So I'm happy with my modification. It makes it sturdy. Oh, these are supposed to go at the top of here. Good job. I'm smart. Yeah, you are smart. Yeah. That said I'm smart. Yay. Okay. Uh, I should probably go either put myself in a safe place in Minecraft or log off. <laughs> probably. But this is actually a good question for you as well. Did you read The Cursed Child? <laughs> Define read. Because if read means got to like scene three or four and then decided it was or writing and didn't feel like Harry Potter in the slightest, then yes. Same thing, same thing. <laughs> I don't know, it was just, it was like not good much. It all. just doesn't feel like it's in the same world. It's like, it just seems like it's different characters with the same names. It's so weird. They even ruined their first scene. Because the first scene was written in the end of the seventh book. And they almost copied it exactly, which would have made it good. You want some too? But they didn't exactly copy it, which made it bad. You are lucky. I'm going to rest. i got to save it for next time. Yeah, we probably should. Anyways, reason I came down here is I was just gonna say, 
I think I overpriced copper on the server, or like, or underpriced it, because you need you need so much copper. You're saying two get, stacks to get one stack. No, you just need oh, so much yeah. to get a stack. So I, see I don't what know. You're saying. That doesn't really pertain to this stream at all, <laughs> but could might could if you decided to play on the surfer. I may do that again. It was fun doing Minecraft. Well, have fun doing your shopping. Yeah. This is such an awkward bathroom. I would not want to use it. Yeah. It's a Building little a bathroom. bathroom. Like, look at how much toilet you can see. <laughs> like everything. This this see. door is too uh, too high up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not a. Oh. It is oh. a little toilet. That. I thought you were pointing at the others. So, like at the sink, and I was like, that's not a toilet. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a little better in the book and movies, but... <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% um, accurate right here. Just kidding. Don't take that for serious. Um, let's see. <sighs> let's see. Ah, oh, you didn't like it either. That's Yes, I'm glad you didn't like it didn't like the cursed child because it doesn't deserve to be it sounds mean but it doesn't deserve to be liked um i feel like they were just trying to make money off of harry potter name i know and it's it was kind of dumb that there was like two other writers that wrote it because they were trying to do like screenplay so they had screenplay writers write it and i was like ah so dumb i read it but struggled to keep up with because of all the different times time changes yeah that's like one thing is like just going through years that's one thing that's nice about Harry Potter is one year is one year and it could get a little bit confusing with them bouncing around and doing all their operation in the seventh book but I was able to follow it pretty good well um, it was good but I I wrote a little story when I was when I was young I was oh yeah I wrote a book report about the a wrinkle in time and it was kind of so silly I should read it to you all but I basically rag on it the whole time saying I don't like the book like it because you they're always teleporting and so I have no idea who and where what is happening but I so I probably will just live by that. That is the way it is. Um, some people say it was better as a play, but just didn't like the story. I don't know. I could maybe see it being better as a play, but it's still the concept of the story. Just I didn't like how mean Harry. It just didn't. The act. The words that the actors were saying didn't feel like the way they would actually act. But sure, maybe they did be a little bit different. Also don't like the fact that Bellatrix and Voldemort had a child together. Exactly. It's like, just that concept is like, just dumb. I don't like it. Voldemort is pure evil. He's, yeah, yeah. he's not a Yeah, I'm with you. Speaking of Bellatrix and Voldemort, it's like, okay, there's this brickhead. The Voldemort, Bellatrix, one. And it's kind of dumb, because I hate, I hate Voldemort. I despise him. He is evil. And Bellatrix is also evil. And the guinea is just following commands. I don't know. But it's kind of, this one's just a cute snake. Just think of it as cute snake, and you're like, oh, that's adorable. Come on, focus. Oh, that's a cute snake. But it's almost like, why did I get this brickhead? Because I hate, I hate those guys so much. They're just evil. But... I have my goal to have every Lego set, and they made it a Lego set, so, oh, oh well. I'll put it, but Volumer is a good character. You mean you hate him. Exactly. That's very true. It's, he's such a, he does such a good job of being such a evil character that I just don't like him for who he was. I, if he was real on this earth, then I would, I would not be a follower of Voldemort. Hate yeah, so that's very true. Such good writing and character pro portrayal, we're able to portray the evilness very well. So, 
But as I said, I was going, I will go get to work on some stuff outside. So I'm going to have to go do that now. But it has been a very great stream. I have enjoyed it so much. I'm glad that you're all able to join. I would keep building Legos, Lego, but... Oh, same with Unbridge. I, I, I don't like Unbridge. I despise her, too. It's like, yuck. Good thing you got taken by those centaurs. You deserve it. Um, Pocket gonna get your socks. He will get my socks. And I will get his socks first, though. So thank you for joining today. And we'll see you in the next live stream. Goodbye.